Welcome back to the Undergrowth. I think the last time we played this was, oh my God, it was literally Christmas day, 2021. But we have the fire ants update. And as you remember, fire ants build bridges using their bodies. Here we are in the undergrowth. This Solenopsis Invicta fire ant queen has wow, landed on the edge of a swamp. She may be far from her native habitat, but the fire ants are well known for their ability to adapt. Okay. Competition for food will be fierce. She will need to raise an army quickly to compete with the local predators. God, the lighting in this game is like second to none. So what we're gonna need is we're probably gonna need some food tiles. I like to put them near the entryway. Now, judging by this, there's tons of food down here, as well as a few mysterious enemies over here. So before we go and explore that way, we are going to need a bit of a skirmishing force, an army. So our food storage is already at what, 130? My God, and we need more, more room. And we're gonna need our first little chamber here. Now there's ample food here. Let's get a few more fire ant workers. So, so far all we have is workers and brood. Fire ant brood, I guess that means the warriors. This seems like as good of a place as any because we're gonna need a decent force of workers to gather all of the food supplies that we are gonna be, well, finding and defeating enemies to get food. So that should suffice. Now, as far as finding a place for our warriors, I'm thinking maybe over here. So we're gonna need to dig out quite a bit of area. Now, what's interesting, if you look, if you look at the left side here, there's actually like, normally the undergrowth is level two. I'm not entirely sure what the top level is. The yellow player's minimap. The blue player's minimap. The minimap of my nest. Wait a minute. Who are who are the other colors? Where are they coming from? Warriors cost 40. Workers cost 20. And I'm thinking, is there any food that is untouched? It's deep behind enemy lines, and to get to it, we're gonna have to fight. And I'm thinking this would be a good spot to fight for. First, we're gonna make a little side canal here. A side tunnel. Whoa, this is interesting. Disable enemy mounting? Wait, we can mount enemies and disable aphid recollection? All right, this is quite intriguing. Oh, there is just a fraction of food right here. But normally you can show the resource info. Aha, okay, there's actually 35 food there, which is almost enough for another warrior. So basically we wanna marshal this force of seven warriors and 13 workers, all of whom are quite more than capable of fighting to face off against whatever mysteries lie in this fog of war, which is, well, underground. Subterranean warfare. Predators oh. Are loose in the nest. Oh, these guys are easy. The They're just like be protected. more older grubs that can fight back. They, they didn't really do a lot. So presumably the covered a group of hungry checkered beetle larvae. Checkered beetle larvae. That's I feel like that's a new one. They have big jaws and appetites to match. Okay, big jaws and appetites. We also have big jaws and appetites. And I want more warriors. We need six more of these guys to hatch. So that we go in with full numbers. So therefore we'll take less casualties. Or so the logic goes. Look at that, so they go, they grow the little larva, go from white to yellow to popping out me some fire ant warriors. Then they'll marshal over here and once more into the breach. Gosh, it feels so good to be playing this game again. All right, some more of these larva. Like, look at this. The graphics of these guys, the lighting, oof. That is huge amounts of food. And pretty much as the food comes in, I'm just starting to place more and more warriors. We should be able to break into this area. Ah. Now remember, we haven't even gotten into the undergrowth yet. We'd have to destroy this Your to open up a tunnel. What do you mean, intruders? Those aren't intruders. If we can fight off a bullfrog, I wonder how much food that would be. The idea is, after we secure underground, 
We're then gonna move into the undergrowth. Predators are loose in the nest. This is actually much easier than I thought it would be. There's only, what, two more enemies. One right here, and then one down here, and then I can devote all of my warriors to taking over the undergrowth. Come on, guys. Oh, God, what is that? A fully developed checkered beetle. And That's what the checkered beetles Morris look like. That wasn't too difficult. By the ants. It has the same ravenous appetite and slicing jaws as its juvenile counterpart. But now paired with thick armor plates, it represents a far greater danger to the colony. Well, it wasn't too much of a danger for us. Look at how much food we're about As to get. As the sun sets, the local amphibians begin to emerge from moist crevices near the water's edge. Uh -oh. Lone invertebrates will be picked off quickly. The ants should travel in numbers or not at all. Interesting. Okay. We're going to send Control Group 2, which is now my army, the up here. Lies in the shadow so of a great where are titan these amphibians? The north, an American bullfrog. Oh! This Snap. large female has found the perfect spot to feed. Sheltered oh, by foliage that thing is and massive. in the path of many wandering insects <laughs> and small Okay, so this amphibians. is the king boss, the bullfrog. No but we also on. have these giant, like, Eventually, spiders she will need to be displaced. hanging Before, around the, the pitcher fire plants. Ants have more pressing business to attend to. It looks like there's another ant nest that's yellow and then a blue one as well. They're different kinds of ants. The food stores are full, my lord. Okay, we can fix that. We gonna spend that money. This beetle is a Oh god, there's a freaking lizard out here. Look at this guy. He's so fast. Guys, there are so many crazy creatures out here. It's hard to keep track of everything. Uh oh god. At night, eastern narrow there's a toads patrol bullfrog above ground coming looking into the base. Food. Ants make up 75% of their diet, so the small colony must stay alert. And we to need make more matters room. worse, oh, they God. are excellent diggers. It's only a matter of time before one tunnels its way into the nest. Alright, yeah, one's tunneling in right now. This narrator is, like, keeping me on my toes. Oh, no, Control Group 2, you need to fight this bullfrog wherever he's going. We need to ride out and meet him. I think. Where's he going? We have no idea where he's going. I think what we'll want is a few more workers to serve the queen. A small colony of Fadele Morisi big-headed ants have established themselves big on a hill ants. to the west. Okay. Scavenging so that's the big-headed ant army. <laughs> and, and is this the black ant insects. army down they here? They are unlikely to pose a threat to the Invicta colony if left undisturbed. Okay, so they said that the big-headed ants are not likely to prove a major threat to us if they're left to their own devices. And seeing how the map is lined up, I can't see a lot of reasons why we might want to fight them. Not enough food. Uh-oh. Yeah, where's this guy going? He's just toying with us. I've moved my entire army down here, but I, I don't know if it's necessary. There's a bombardier beetle. And this is aphids. Now... Are there three aphids? Do you see them? There's this... Yeah! Okay, there they are. One, two, three. Okay, so that's what it is. Uh, yeah, he's destroying my guys as they were trying to carry aphids away. Okay, pull back. This is wild. There is so much going on in the Fire Ants update here in Empires of the Undergrowth. It is hard to keep up. So at nighttime, amphibians attack. Oh god, look at this spider. And there's these weird... Are, these aren't aphids. These are some kind of caterpillars that you can eat now. As well as Venus flytraps? I, I, I mean... The amount of abundant life in this is wild. Okay. So what we wanted to do was relocate all those guys. I think we were able to do that. And now we want to relocate these seven aphids. Now, are they being relocated to this tree? I think so. So what we'll want is a separate group that goes out here. A wasp mantid fly. Oh my god. It's not a praying mantis, it's a wasp mantid fly. Oh, we tried to build a bridge. Okay, so we're gonna have to send our warriors in this too. 
There are spiders. I this is a massive threat down here. I need another area for workers, a separate group entirely. We are going to do them up here. All right, <laughs> and a tiger beetle. The amount of things we're having to fight is getting ridiculous. All right, build the red. Oh my God, we got ambushed building a bridge, but we killed him. Okay, good. All right, we need to build the bridge over here and just have our men, our men, our ants, Ready and able to carry all of these aphids. The there are seven of them jumping back. Spider, Jesus! Man what the heck, man? A fire ant. It prefers to hunt on foliage where it is less likely to be spotted by predators and prey alike. Guys, it's time to come back. There's something in this. Maybe, maybe we fight. The fire ants have encountered a tribe of Monomoria minimum black ants. Black these ants and ambushing rainforest spiders. I'm gonna try to wipe to these guys out. Caution. Oh, you wanna raid my nest? Well, uh, we'll see about that, okay? So now we can see inside of it. We are inside of their nest. We are going for their queen. This is a raid! Get on the ground! Go kill the queen. I'm sending everything I got in there, which I think is more than enough because I feel like wiping them out early will eliminate one of the major threats to our resources. Because, well, quite simply, they're the competing with us. The minimum colony is almost defeated. The Invicta army must press their advantage. I like how we're called the Invicta colony. It, it just makes us think about glorious victory. The warriors here are holding this little narrow pass against their respawning workers and warriors. And the queen is dead. Now I can take their eggs as food. Huh. That's amazing. Lots of spiders ambushing my guys on the way home. I do not like that at all. It's hard, honestly, to keep track of it all. There's one down, one needs to die. But I guess whenever they do die, they do create food. Oh, she's back. God, the... Oh. This is a very, very hostile place. I'm wondering if in order to get to the bullfrog, do we need to create a bridge? Doesn't look like it, but there are just so many bugs around. But to get over here to get more aphids, oh, protected by that thing. I'm tempted to just fight this. Let's do it. Let's fight this giant spider and rid it. All right, we're going up to get him. One V one. The battle has begun. Oh, immediately dead. Have been a track plant. All right, we need to, to muster our troops the instead of just sending them in. Here we go, here we go. Here's the army. There we go. Now go up and fight that spider. I'm sick of him eating our boys. All right, he, he, he's just absolutely dismantling us. One by one by one. What we need to do is have them not gathering food, just all ready to fight. Because they're getting distracted by the, um, secretions. Guys, you get... Okay, here's a beetle. We'll kill him. I guess we can't go after it. Whatever. Aphids! Gather these aphids. So now we have 15 aphids. And they're producing a, a little bit about a food, so it's sort of like... I guess that's sustainable food, right? So there might be certain missions where we want to have giant aphid farms because there's not a lot of food readily available otherwise. But one of the things that I do want to do is marshal my group over here, build another bridge, and capture these seven aphids which are protected by that crazy looking wasp mantis. Because that's what it looks like to me. It's a wasp mantis. More than a husk remains. Oh god, we're marching right by these Venus fly traps, so we're getting abducted essentially kill the wasp thing oh he tried to get away but we bit him all right now fight this thing too eliminate all threats the empire must grow we're gonna summon the ant elector counts this empire is gonna be so big all right 
Now it is time to muster and create a bridge. Now this is going to be control group 5 and they are going to be on eternal duty. You are not gathering aphids. You are simply fighting. Alright, now what kind of amphibians are going to be coming out during the night time? The day and night cycle is so interesting because of how different the experience of the day versus the night really is. And I love how you can see all of our aphids, which we now have 29. 29! These guys are really gathering slowly, aren't they? I guess we could make it quicker. Total rival! Oh god. Wait, wait. Whew, there's the salamander. I don't see a toad creeping around in the minimap down here. Um, if that's the case, then we're going to need to muster our troops underground. Oh, there he is. He's over here now. I want him to break through. I really, really do, because I want to dispatch him and see how much food we can get. Oh, he's kind of making a beeline here. Oh. <laughs> he's got like one more section, depending on where he mines. We're ready for him. We've got 67 soldiers. Oh god, there's two toads. Uh... Come on. Stop toying with me. Do it! Do it now! What are you waiting for? Oh man. Everybody marshal, get ready. We're going on a raid. Man, these aphids are producing tons of food. This group number two... Where's number two? There you are. You might need a few more. We'll get you up to like... 10. 12. So the key point to get towards is... Right up this ramp right here. Now we want everybody on just... Just on fighting right now. This is economic warfare. See how they go out here to get their food? We'll have to kill a lot of them. The fight is about to begin. Oh, now... The ants must defend themselves. They definitely are higher quality troops than us, but I think what we can make up in quality, we'll do so with quantity. The ants have met in their first skirmish. Oh, yes. Since and the skirmish went our way. We lost ants, but those were casualties that I was willing to endure. In selected brood, feeding them until their heads are engorged with muscle. The big heads, the big huh? Headed ants now have a super soldier cast. To whoa, 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 whoa! What do you mean? Oh my huge God! Economic cost to the colony. These friends. That's a super soldier. Raised for one purpose: to crush the fire ants. All right, I need to move these workers, and you are on aphid relocation duty. While my soldiers hold the gap, allowing us to rob the enemy. Oh, this is awesome. Guys, there are three toads on the periphery. This one, this one, and now this one. Wait, is the American Bullfrog getting stronger each night? Is that what's happening? Because if so, I may be messing around doing this the slow and steady way. Toad has burrowed cool. into the nest. He, he broke in. He's eating our larva. For a toad, He's just... appetite for ants is insatiable. Secretions Kill it! From its skin burn any that manage to escape its projectile tongue. Oh, jeez. So he's poisonous skin? Eat him! Destroy that thing! I wonder how many casualties we suffered, but we were able to beat him. Yes! Good work. Now back to your rally points. You know, we have 100, but I'm actually thinking about sending the Praetorian Guard in with them. I mean, if this is an all-out attack, then we want everything available. 160 ants, other than 10 that are protecting right here. You know what? You're right. Send them all in! Everything must go. And fight. The beast. Alright, so what we need to do is marshal right here. 
And I think what we need is to have this. Ants in the selected group climb on top of larger enemies to deal damage and provide a damage buff to all attackers of the creature. Okay. We want enemy mounting. Look at this. The ants go marching like eight by eight. Hurrah. Gentlemen, ants, it is time. You must charge the bullfrog. Here it is. Oh, this first group. Oh my. What? He just ate so many of them. Oh, but they're climbing up his arms. They're starting to do damage. Oh my god. This guy's huge. Alright, kill this thing. We're, we're on him though. Massive casualties are being inflicted, but look at this. Reinforcements are on the way. It's just gonna be an endless stream. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's killing like 20 at a time. This is the biggest boss that we have ever encountered. Oh, and how fortunate for me. I've got this little, this guy interfering with my supply lines. No food, just fighting. Goodness. But he can't get them off his back, it doesn't look like. You just gotta keep going, guys. You just gotta keep going. We put everything in it. Look, there are 49 dead soldiers right now. Out of that one group alone. All the workers are almost immediately killed. <laughs> but, I mean, how else do you fight this thing? It's a war of attrition. He's slowly but surely being eaten alive. Oh, he turned. It might make it easy. He won't lick the big reinforcing groups if a group can move in right now. Oh, that's the way. Now we're getting up there. We're making some serious progress and he turned around and ate them all. But I think we have enough. He's dying. He's almost dead even now. Dude, he just launched this guy and he got stunned and... Big Daddy Toad. 1,200 food. Look at that face. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Amphibian arrival? What do you mean? Survive the invaders. Unbeknownst to the ants, uh, the everybody back. The bullfrog was keeping many other local amphibians at bay. The power vacuum it left behind is huh. attracting a host of salamanders and frogs eager to take its place. All right, control group the two. Go the ground quickly and prepare for the imminent chaos. All right, there's apparently going to be a massive a amphibian invasion. Desi Mutilla, Got it. What is that? Known as the Red Velvet Ant, as Red Velvet Ant is nasty. Look at that. He the hunt for fire ants, it will defend its Jeez. Threatened. That Our thing might even be as bad as the toad felt like. And displaying bright warning stripes, most creatures give it a wide berth. All right, I think what we need to do is put these guys, all the workers into supplying the queen because uh, look at our reinforcements are not here right now because oh my god I, I i broke the supply lines by sending all the workers in there was no one to refurbish all the larva to like replant or, or re whatever oh god i'm worried all right we got a bullfrog moving in how fast is he coming in immediately not yet and he's through okay he's here But our numbers are slowly going up. Oh god. We've got multiple bullfrog contacts. Oh, and he can break through stone, so he's gonna pop out right here. Prepare yourselves, gentlemen! Actually, we want him to where we can surround him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This guy just broke in immediately fast. Okay, this is yes, terrible. Must fight. This is terrible. And they're coming in from over here, too. Uh, my gosh. Amphi okay, two are dead. 
Where's the other one coming? Oh, they can break in so they can just kill the queen. Yikes. All right, down here, down here, get this one. Whoa, 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 one. Salamanders? You're kidding me. All right, you're gonna have to kill this guy real quick and we're gonna have to pull back to the queen. It's the best chance we got, I think. Kill the salamanders. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need them not gathering food. We just need them fighting. That may be one of the issues. All right, is it a... No, 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 no. We got... Uh, I don't know. That's not a good place to fight. Oh my god. This is terrible. This guy's about to go down, though. That one's distracted. Uh, multiple salamanders down there. That guy's dead. Oh! There's one near the queen. Save the queen! God save the queen. And by God, we mean an army of fire ants. Uh, this this is the wildest mission I've ever played in Empires of the Undergrowth, which is pretty impressive because leaf cutters for the first time I thought just absolutely blew my mind. But army ants are even cooler. As the cooler. anarchy above ground settles and with the invaders crushed, <laughs> a new order is uh, established. Yeah, This us. is now the domain of the fire ant. Oh my gosh. And we still have more fire ant missions. So if you guys do want to see more, well, pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. Because Empire's the Undergrowth is back.